Starting midnight Monday morning, only essential services will remain open. Critical infrastructure and essential services like medical facilities, pharmacies and grocery stores will stay open. Schools already approved for in-person learning will also remain open, as well as child care and pre-K facilities. Now, restaurants will be takeout, pickup or delivery only. No more eating outside. Retail and shopping centers will be limited to 20% indoor capacity and places of worship can now only hold outdoor services. Also, no gatherings with in, of any size with people from outside your household are permitted. County leaders made this announcement in an unscheduled news conference today. News 8's LaMonica Peters has the latest. Health experts have been warning us for months that this surge was on the way, and now that it's here, the state is asking everybody in Southern California to stay home, to stay apart, and to try and stay safe. Effective at 11.59 p.m. tomorrow night, Sunday, our county and 10 other counties in the designated Southern California region will fall under new, tougher restrictions ordered by the state. San Diego County is on lockdown again after rising cases of coronavirus caused the number of available ICU beds to drop below 15%. Just as the holiday season gets in full swing, the timing couldn't be worse. These restrictions will last for a minimum of three weeks. There's no way around it. This stinks. We know that. COVID-19 cases have reached record highs and county officials say the surge is not sustainable as hospitalizations also skyrocket. Now all non-essential businesses will be closed. Retail stores can only operate at 20% indoor capacity. Church service should only be held outdoors, and restaurants will only serve takeout, pickup, or by delivery. We can't avoid COVID. We can't wish it away. Uh, we, we can't blame it. It's not the fault of a tiered system, or it's not the fault of an elected official, or a public health expert, or doctor. It is a deadly global pandemic that is ravaging our communities. Fletcher says there is a light at the end of this tunnel, but everyone will have to buckle down together at least one last time to control the spread before a vaccine is ready. We know what we need to do. Wear the mask, physically distance from non-household members, avoid large indoor settings, wash your hands. And now we are coming together with a new series of efforts from the state of California uh, to beat this back even more. Fletcher also reminded us just how dire this situation is by noting that more Americans died of COVID in one day this week than they did in the September 11th attacks back in 2001. LaMonica Peters, News 8. Yet another record-setting day for new coronavirus cases across San Diego. County officials are reporting 2,287 new confirmed cases today, a positive per, per, a 9% positive rate of more than 24,000 tests. 30 more people have been hospitalized with COVID, pushing total hospitalizations over 800 for the first time ever here. Four more were admitted to intensive care and locally our available ICU capacity stands at 23%. Eight additional deaths are being reported. That total is now 1,055. Nationwide, the coronavirus continues to spread out of control.